Okay, several of you have asked uh, how to use Respondus Monitor, so I thought I'd do a quick review, uh, video and show you what I learned from my experience this past weekend. I gave my students in my Cal 3 class an exam, so I'm going to open that class back up uh, over here in Class Activities. I'm going to go down to Quizzes, and then I'm going to click on the Lockdown Browser. Once I click on Lockdown Browser, I need to go find the class that I gave the test to. And down here was my exam two for spring. And notice that it says I required Lockdown Browser plus the webcam. This is the first time I've ever used the webcam and I wanted to show you what the results say. Uh, because of student privacy, I'm gonna uh, be pausing the video and grabbing screenshots and uh, whiting out names. So hold on just a second. Actually, before I go there, I need to show you to go down to class results, hit class results, and it will drop the menu down and you'll see all of your students, last name, first name, and a list here. Let me go freeze it here and show you what that looks like. All right, to protect their identities, I have uh, whited out the last names, first names, and their scores. Uh, but you can see that it says 21 were completed, uh, nine had high priority. Uh, they would say, you know, I need to probably go scroll through the videos. Um, there were four medium and eight low priority. Uh, I think I had six that did not have webcams. And so for those, I had them log into a Zoom meeting and I personally uh, sat and watched them and proctored the exam while they took it um, on their actually pencil and paper. Um, but anyway, that was a workaround because not every student had a, a webcam to do it this way. So this is what you see when you do your, uh, when you drop down and click on class results. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like if you were to click on uh, one of these little plus signs by their names. Okay, when you click on the uh, plus arrow, you can see that it uh, did a little minus sign over here. And this is what you would see. I have whited out uh, the student's name up at the top and their score, again, so the student remains anonymous. But it would show a screenshot of the student in the beginning, and then it gives you a detailed listing of why uh, it flagged them. And this person uh, was out of the frame twice uh, during the exam. Uh, before they take the exam, it asks them uh, to sit, uh, stand in front of the webcam and take a picture. And then it asks for the student to show a uh, picture ID to verify that it is the student. Then it asks them to do an environment video. They have to scan uh, their workspace and their room. And then it just starts uh, taking the, they start taking the exam. And it takes pictures, it records them uh, continuously. And you can see more thumbnails uh, if you want to down here at the bottom. But you can just scroll quickly and you see that it flagged uh, this person twice in the whole video. And uh, yeah, it's that easy. And when you're finished looking at all the students uh, down at the bottom, you just tell it to close. And that's that. I hope this helped. Um, took me a few minutes to kind of figure it out, but it was pretty, pretty easy. I hope this is one of the options. This is an option. Um, and if you have more questions about it, feel free to give me an email. Bye.